Friday, Slot Car News, sponsored by LEBHobbies.com. LEB Hobbies, ricing fast, made easy. Visit LEBHobbies.com. <laughs> these arranged a little more a little more pretty shall we how does that Ooh, that yeah that looks good enough hello folks happy friday friday again <laughs> thank god um let's get right into it cg slot cars has a replacement guide holder for carrera um if you've been uh, a carrera fan for quite a while you know that they've had Several different guide holder arrangements years ago, like really years ago, back in the early 2000s, I guess. They had a more kind of a standard guide holder with uh, regular brushes, two tabs, not four tips. And um, gradually they went to the more kind of uh, fit. I don't know how you describe it. It's probably production friendly <laughs> because it's like a retaining ring and then a ring and then a th ring on top and then two screws. And kind of what you have now is there's limited guide travel, although there's more than there had been years ago. Um, so anyway, what this guide replacement, there's two of them it looks like. It's a ring that drops on. You take off part of the, uh, the guide assembly, or really all of it, I think, and you replace it with this ring, screw it back down, and this couldn't be easier than you get a real guide with, uh, you know, you can put real uh, brushes in there, real wires in there. Um, it's, this is a great thing. Uh, this was, uh, you know, started years ago. Um, well, there were people that would kind of mock up something on, the, on their own. Then uh, B Nova made one that was a ring that you put in. You had to glue around it. That worked pretty well. Um, I have a couple of those. And uh, CG's come up with this better idea. And yeah, it's a better idea. Next, we have... Um, well, we have pictures of the new Mercedes that's coming from uh, Slotted. The new DTM. Uh, these are updated pictures. They look really, really cool. Um, it's, it's a DTM if you're into that series. Uh, I think you're going to like these. Okay, so we also have... The uh, Policar Monoposto, these are the gems, the golden age of motorsport, something like that. Um, it's a pretty cool idea, I think so anyway, using a modern body with a throwback livery. Now, he's announced a number of these that are coming uh, this year, and uh, these are the first two. The Benetton car and the, uh, the orange car. Um, I think it's a great idea. I, the liveries years ago, I think, looked better than they do now. Um, they were more governed by kind of a design sense and less by just, uh, corporate marketing, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think this is pretty cool. I, I'm happy that, that he's doing these and, uh, first two of the series. So that's cool too. What else? Uh, last item. And it's, um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, so... Uh, a few years ago, Falcon Slot came out with a car. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Getting old. Falcon Slot came out with this car. Can you see it? Yeah, sort of. Porsche 924. Um, these cars were uh, so heavily raced. And um, this in my opinion, is a really, really nice model. And you can see it pretty well. Um, there you can see it a lot better. I'll just leave that right there, shall I? Um, so, as you may or may not know, Fly has gotten use of the Falcon mo uh, molds. Yes. So, Fly has, is now showing uh, two initial liveries. One is the red... It's, I mean, it's a little livery. It's a street car, they say. Um, maybe it was uh, one of the release cars. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Um, the other one is a, a special edition for Moss Slot um, that uh, I see them, uh, I see Raphael uh, mentioning online is going to be a, 
I believe it's going to be, you know, like they've released cars over the years, and this is going to be one of those cars that uh, I think if you're a subscriber, you can buy one, or maybe if you're anybody, you can buy one. Uh, it looks really awesome. They're going to do more race versions of this very soon, though. They're going to do the Le Mans livery. That's, I think, going to be the first uh, racing livery that's done. So that's coming fairly soon. Let me get this arranged just so there's a little better. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to block that. Oh, God, so many cars. So many cool cars, so little track space. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to get uh, years worth, because, you know, Fly gets a long time out of their molds. Let me turn that that way. It's some really tasty-looking fenders there. Can you see that? Yeah, sort of. Um, I really love these cars. You know, cars from the mid-'80s, these are the cars that I grew up uh, wanting, yes, even a 924. Um, it's just, you know, that's, you can't help but want the cars of your youth. <laughs> the cars that you couldn't have. Um, but maybe when you're, you know, 50, <laughs> you can afford now, or maybe you can still dream about having and know better not to buy an old car that's a money pit. <laughs> um, or maybe you don't know better and you just don't buy it anyway. Uh, but anyway, we're getting 924s. I think this is just fantastic. I think it's fantastic for the Porsche fans, like myself. Um, but it's also fantastic for the hobby. Because, well, what you see here, frankly, you see, you know, this is like moving into more modern era. You know, the 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 the, the, the Nissans here from Slot It, you know, those are moving us into a different era. They're moving us into more modern cars. You know, cars from the mid-80s into the 90s. Um... And then the and then the 924 um, from the early 80s, but it's all that same kind of era, you know. It's it's a time that people maybe thought that cars really weren't all that great. Well, yeah, smog devices were introduced, and uh, you know maybe cars weren't quite as fast, but that doesn't mean you know you you can't when you were a kid maybe you wanted them maybe when you were a teenager like me, you really wanted one. Uh, they weren't fast. It didn't really matter. Um, you know, it was it was what was cool. So you know, it's that thing that it, it makes you think back to what your childhood. That's really the cool thing about slot cars, is that it's evocative of a time maybe in your life, or of a time that you wish you were around for, um, or a time that you lived through, or a time that you have no connection with and you just happen to like the cars a lot. Anyway, around it. We're getting cool new stuff. Um, and I'm really happy about that. That's it. Just those four. Four? Well, four items, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Um, I did want to make note, I am going to be starting a Patreon page uh, to offer things like um, uh, special Zoom calls, if people want to do that, or... Um, you know, some maybe some special offers, some uh, uh, tech time. <laughs> if people have questions for me, don't want to ask them in public, um, there's be a variety of things that I'll do. And uh, if it takes off, great. If it doesn't, oh well. Um, so I'll try it. See if uh, see if people respond. If they don't, you know, I tried something. Uh, anyway, folks, thanks again. I appreciate all the likes. All the shares. I say this every week, but I really do mean it. I absolutely do mean it. So thanks a lot. See you all again soon.